Hey guys, so we're going to do a unboxing today and it is for the Bark Box Super Chewer and this little boy has been waiting so patiently for this. Um, we got it two days ago and I'm sure he can smell whatever goodies are inside of it. So I've already untaped, well cut the tape so I didn't have to do that on camera. Um, so let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, when you first open it, it says, let's chew it, hashtag super chewer, and it has some little things on top. We did, if you watch my old videos, we did do regular bark box when he was a puppy, but we noticed as the months went along, um, the toys were getting worse and worse for him like he was tearing him up even quicker um we the reason we decided to do this is because um they are like tough toys so they're supposed to be um toys that he can't tear up very easy uh da, 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 da. we're here for you no toy is totally indestructible and destruction is part of a toy's life cycle but if you think we haven't given your super chewer the toughest challenge on the market reach out 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed we'll send you a new toy 100 percent free of charge no proof needed no questions asked free shipping toy satisfaction treat allergies and any other questions and then give some information so like if for example i give him one of these toys today and he completely tears it up today it's obviously not a good toy <laughs> um, and I will not be satisfied so I would definitely take advantage of this now obviously they're right um, no toy is indestructible every toy has its life cycle I expect like these types of toys like the Kongs and stuff like that I honestly would expect them to at least last three to six months so anything less than three months I would I would be um, saying I'm sorry I'm unsatisfied um, I'm sorry I'm giving like a lot of backstory here um, so we we did upgrade him to the super chewer box we actually canceled the last bark box and we haven't had it in like a year so we are upgrading him to super chewers because we have found that the Kong tough toys are good like the um, ones without filling in them are really good for him uh, he does like his stuffing toys but he tears them up and destroys them and you have stuffing all over the floor it's pain in the ass to be honest with you so you know the less stuffing toys we have the better anyway so that is just some information about what you're going to get each month so in your super chewer box you'll get two tough toys for tough dogs, two bags of meaty treats, and two chews to challenge your dog. We'll see if they really challenge him because... <laughs> anyway, so let's get right on into it. Let's open uh, the paper and then this is what it looks like here. It gives you some more. It looks like the same thing we just got. We'll have to read through it. Um, and then also, if you notice, like on the actual paper inside, it gives you like little games and stuff that you can do with your dog. Hold on. Sorry, I had to yell at the cat. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, see what he's getting. Let's see what this is. Okay, so yeah, this is the same thing we've already been given see if he knocks I had to put the sheet up because it was so backlit usually that's not there um and I don't think I'm gonna get curtains because we might be moving but anyway um and then you get this sort of thing it looks like this box's theme is let's get physical we're not gonna open it up just because it'll kind of give stuff away and right on top is the toys but we're going to save the toys for last because if I give him the toys now we'll never see him again so let's start with the two bags of treats 
The first one is Pup Up Green Smoothie Dog Treats. These have anti-inflammatory properties, boosts the immune system, and has an all-natural recipe. It's powered by apple, kale, spinach, and papaya. And like always, all BarkBox treats are wheat-free, soy-free, corn-free, and grain-free. So, and this is not a sponsored video, by the way. BarkBox, I would be more than happy to be a sponsor, or for you to sponsor me, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, woo! It's, it's, it's something. Say it. Well, I know you can't see him, but he's still chewing it. Um, still chewing it. <laughs> he hasn't spit it out yet. Well, he's, um, no, nope, he spit it out. Uh, I don't think he likes the green smoothies, guys. He spit it out. We'll have to see if he goes back to it. Oh, he's trying it again. Um, but the next one is a pop-up salmon-powered dog treats. It has real salmon. A real salmon is the first ingredient. Anti-inflammatory properties boosts immune system with carrots, kale, and sea cucumber. I know the lighting is horrible, and I do apologize. I don't know how else to fix it. I put the sheet up to help some, and... All right, did he? Oh, he finally did go eat it, guys. So maybe it's because I grabbed this and he was like, I want to see what's next. <clears throat> I don't like the smell of these ones. All right. All right, so the two chews we got, which I'm not going to give him right away, um, are the the play-doh pet treat thinkers duck recipe so this is like a duck jerky stick and then the next one is a oh this one's in chunks why is it in oh it just broke up i might give him that little piece it is a power pup protein bar peanut butter is the first ingredient grain free take on the go with peanut butter and Carob. Carob? What is carob? I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, you know what? Since this one is open already, not open, but broken, I'll give him this little piece on top, and then later I'll give him the rest of it. It is a, um, a chew, though, so they're not supposed to be able to eat them as quick as a treat. He always takes, let me scoot back. He always takes his treats over to his bed area. And sometimes he'll drop them there, like he did that one. He drops that one and he'll pick it up and eat it. Or he'll lay down. If it's like a bone, he'll lay down and kind of hug it and eat it. But yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm so sorry, guys. I hit the desk. Okay, so first we're going to start with this toy. Um, this is a balanced diet treat ball. It is a slow feeder, squeak, wild wobbler, let it, su let it, oh, let's chew it. I cannot read today to save my life. So, so you're supposed to put some treats on this so let's set him up let's put a um, couple of the green smoothie ones in here he already has a slow feeder like that's what I put his regular food in um, and he hates it <laughs> but he also that one he's probably not going to be able to get out it's like right in the middle. I'll leave it in there, but I'll just put two in there. These are actually too big. Let's see if I can break it. Oh, good. I can break it a little. Okay. There. All right. 
He wants us. Hold on, they can't see. Can you see? Probably not. <laughs> he's like, he is like, I want those treats, Mom. I put one right in the center and it fit perfectly in that. Anyway, one more toy. And this one is a dumbbell. And it is just... Just, I don't, it doesn't squeak, so just a hard chewer. He's a, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any new uploads that I do in the future. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.